Hi there, welcome to the Schwoven's Nest. My name is Sandra and I'm so glad you're here. I cannot pass by a thrift store with at least going in and taking a look. Sometimes I don't purchase anything, but a lot of times I come out with a few little treasures. So I wanted to share some of my hauls with you. I've noticed the past few months that the thrift store prices keep going up. I'm not sure who's doing the prices there, but I have seen tons of Dollar Tree and Dollarama items there priced more expensively than when you could get them in the dollar stores. So not sure what's happening there, but just keep in mind that I live in Canada, so my prices are gonna be a little bit different than what you would pay in your town. I'm gonna start off with some canisters and glassware. I'm always on the lookout for things like this. This is, I think, somewhat of an apothecary jar. This one has a really nice lid on it and it's got the plastic, almost brand new, totally like super clean. Of course, I will clean it myself, but I like that it's got the nice seal on it so I could use this for coffee in the kitchen or if I wanted to dress up my bathroom counter, I could put cotton balls or Q-tips in it. So something like this is always what I'm on the lookout for. I've taken the tag off of this, but I think it was probably about four or $5.99. These run pretty high here in Canada. Another couple of items that I found were these cute little vases and I'm going to show you up close here. It's got a nice, nice little crackle finish there and on the bottom is some kind of, it, it feels like rough clay kind of has a concrete look i don't like this color so i would probably redo this but i really like this down here i've got two of these not sure where the other one is right now probably upstairs in my craft room but i paid a dollar each for these so that was a really good buy so where i am at when i redo canister sets and i put them online on facebook marketplace they sell really well so I'm always on the lookout for canister sets, but again, I have to be careful of how much they are. This set was $4.99 for three of them. So they each came with the lids. Now they're not airtight anymore. So that's probably something that's missing off of here is that sort of rubbery seal thing, but they have this pretty little design on them. They kind of look kind of crockish. I'm not sure if I will leave this brown here. I'm definitely going to be painting this white. I think with these ridges, it would look really nice. Sorry, I keep banging it together. Anyhow, I've got a few sizes of these. This is the other size, and then that's the smaller size. So I've got three of them. I've misplaced the lid for this guy. He's around somewhere. But um, let me know what you think I should do with these. I'm toying with the idea of leaving the brown intact because then if somebody wants to put food in it, it's easier to clean. And then if I just paint the bottom, I'm thinking I might even just paint it sort of like um, an old vintage white color or a creamy color, keep it that way and maybe just put a nice farmhouse label on each of them. Sticking with the canister sets, these are two sweet little canisters. They do have the ceiling ring. Let me find if I can put this down somewhere. They do have the little ceiling ring, so they do seal tight. I used to have a set like this in black. Now this has got a little bit of something going on here, but other than that, they're really in good shape. The green is a beautiful color, $4 for the set of two. So I think I might leave the green and just add a nice farmhouse label to the front. Again, let me know what you think. If you think I should paint these white, maybe paint them white at the bottom and leave the lids green. I don't know. I don't know if, oops, <laughs> I just dropped that one. I don't know if the double color really would be a good seller, but let me know what you think. I am always also on the lookout for teapots and coffee pots and pitchers because they're always nice to have. If you don't have a lid on them, you can put florals in them. You can put arrangements in them. You can even just leave them as is. I found this coffee pot. I believe that's what it is. And it's in really, really good shape. This was $3 at a thrift store up near my cottage. So um, this says Rosher Fine Porcelain. So uh, I don't know if it's expensive. I haven't really had the, taken the chance to look it up. I think I'm gonna leave this one white. I might just add a little label to it or maybe a transfer. I know I love seeing those IOD transfers. I haven't gotten my hands on some of those yet, but I do have my water slide decals. And since this would probably be 
a display item, I think I might do something with that. So stay on the lookout for that makeover. Here's another little jar. I thought this one was super cute. I love the shape of it. The handles are amazing. Um, not too keen on the design, of course, but I do like these little ridges that you get here. And look what's on the back. <laughs> you can have all of your measurements laid out there so you can remember what they are. This is from ounces and pints, quarts, gallons, teaspoons, that kind of thing. So uh, this would be imperial measurements. This was $3, so a good buy. I'm thinking of maybe painting it like a croc look, so maybe leaving this top part white and painting this bottom part in a different color. I'm not sure, but okay, my last set of canisters. This was $1.99 for this set, and they have these cute little geese on them. It's so sweet. It looks like it might be a mother goose thing. Very country. So I think I will probably paint these the blue, not too fond of that. And they don't have any ceiling on them, but even without the lids, I think they would be cute little arrangements to have, adding some floral to it or just having it on display. So these will probably get a farmhouse makeover, white, black, that kind of thing. Moving on to some metal pieces. This is a candle holder that I got. It is solid metal. It actually looks really great the way it is. I don't think I would do anything with it besides maybe taking these prongs off and maybe doing some kind of arrangement with it, whether it's floral or maybe even have some little jars on here or something. I'm not sure, but I really like the look of it. It was only $3, so I grabbed it, even though I really don't know what I'm going to do with it. So again, if you have ideas, please let me know. Well, isn't this a cutie? I know the Christmas season is over, but I just couldn't resist this little box. Now I did buy it before Christmas because I am actually filming this before Christmas. I think it's the 22nd today. I thought this was a sweet little box. It looks a little distressed, a little weird, but it's wood and it's got this nice little handle. So probably for next year, I'll do something with that. In keeping with the Christmas spirit, I found this tin and it has this beautiful label on it. I think it would look really nice if I painted the exterior white. I love the red. Or I might just antique this a little bit more, just make it pop, maybe even, even paint this white and then distress it. It was $5. It was a little pricey, but it still has the original tag on it. And it doesn't say how much it was, but I'm pretty sure this probably came from a garden center somewhere. And it, uh, it really has some beautiful lines to it. And like I said, this label is just absolutely gorgeous. So there's another Christmas item that I will be hanging on to for next year. Always on the lookout for these little apple baskets. They're so cute. This one was two bucks and it's in really good condition. The last time I had one like this, it was a little larger. I left it this color, I think. I also painted one white and I left one this color, but I put it on a spindle candlestick and put some lavender in it and it sold really well. So that's something I might do with this one because he's so little. It would be, look really great on a table or on a shelf somewhere. Okay, donate me. <laughs> I don't like this at all. This is really ugly floral, although it does have this succulent in it, which might be okay. But I got it simply for the, I don't know if I can get this out. I might be able to. Yeah, there we go. Um, and the extras. <laughs> but I got it for the shape of this little uh, urn. It's so pretty. And even the colors are pretty for spring. It's sort of a bluey green and it's already got so much aging in it. It's really cute. Three bucks. And of course, I'm not using the florals, but this is really nice. It's not heavy. It's, it's actually plastic, I think, resin or something like that. But uh, it looks really pretty and I'm going to clean it up. I'm not sure if some of this is actually antiquing or if it's dirt. I haven't figured that out yet. So um, stay tuned for what I do with that guy. 
Look at this beautiful, beautiful thing. I just love this. It's gorgeous. I did pay $6 for it, but I'm not doing a darn thing with this one. It's beautiful. I know it's shiny, but it's got some beautiful texture to it. The color is amazing. It's like an off-white. It already looks antiqued, so there's no way I'm going to do anything with this. I can see this having a really beautiful Christmas tree in it or for the spring and summer, maybe an olive tree or even just a nice fern or something. So this is going to be mine. I'm going to keep this because I really love it and I think it's going to look beautiful in my home and I'll be able to change out the greenery for the seasons. I found this wood charger plate. Um, it was at a thrift store. I paid three dollars for it. There was another one but it had a crack in it so I was thinking this would be a really nice base for a tiered tray if I can find another wood piece like this that's a little smaller so it could be the top part or I could just add a spindle to the bottom of it a candlestick and that would be a beautiful riser a cake plate um, if I could find a nice dome for it it would be a beautiful cake plate so I think I'm just going to leave it this natural color but I'm going to probably add something to it this is I'm going to stand back here so you can see it all this was seven dollars now this is something that probably came from Michael's or let me see back here Ashland yeah this is from Michael's so this it still has the regular price on it 30 bucks 30 dollars Canadian for this and I got it for seven I know it's got some yellowing on it but it's really sturdy it's not solid wood it's that press board but it doesn't matter. This is a solid piece of wood. So I'll be able to make a beautiful sign with this one. Get really excited when I find stuff like that because those are really great buys. This is, this is just a little piece of wood. It was a dollar. Uh, it says clear pine craft wood. Anytime I see little pieces of wood like this, I always grab them because I really like working with wood. And if you follow me on my channel, you know that I love that. So I will be doing on January 4th, I believe. It will be my first Timber Tuesday of the year 2022. So make sure you've got your notifications turned on because you're not going to want to miss out on that. Now, somebody gave this away. Whoever they were, they have something wrong with them. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. I mean, this is beautiful just the way it is. I probably wouldn't change any of this. Um, the wreath is just put on with some wire on the back. It has some beautiful textured lamb's ear material. The buffalo plaid that I love. I got this for $5 and for sure this cost way more than that. It doesn't have the original sticker on it, but this to me looks like a Hobby Lobby a Walmart, um, for us probably Michaels. This looks like something that Michaels would sell. And I know that these pop out really easily, so maybe some of them are missing, and that's why the person got rid of it, or they just didn't like it to begin with. So, hey, their loss is my gain. I'm so excited to have this because it's really hard to find the lamb's ear greenery here in Canada. I usually have to order it from Amazon and it's always really expensive. So very excited when I saw this for $5. This amount of lamb's ear would probably cost me $20 to $30 here in Canada. So when I find something like this, it really makes me happy. Now, I know that these are little crates that you could find in Um, Michael's or Dollar Tree these are a little bit bigger and they're a little bit thinner um, the rails and stuff and it says Melissa and Doug on it I think that's some kind of toys I don't have young kids anymore so let me know if you I'm pretty sure Melissa and Doug is something with small kids nowadays anyway I got three of these plus this huge yeah, Melissa and Doug band in a box. That's what this says on the box, bottom of it. This is the crate that these were in. So I'm assuming it probably was this way somehow maybe and there was a, there's a fork missing, but that's okay. 
I can definitely do something with this. These are nice solid wood pieces and there's always room for a crate. So I do have something that most of you probably don't really care about but I have a cottage so anytime I see something with a fish I get it so this is a fish tray like that's how you're supposed to hold it I guess it's probably going to go up on the wall somewhere in one of my cottages um, and this was four dollars so not a bad buy again this was Ashland came from Michael's and I don't have my glasses on <laughs> this was Holy cow, this looks like it was 60 bucks. That can't be right. Oh well, I, can't, I don't have my glasses with me either. <laughs> I thought I would do this video without my glasses. I guess that was a mistake because now I can't see anything up close. But anyhow, the fish is going to the cottage. Look at that. <laughs> um, $6. So I don't know who's pricing stuff at the thrift stores up here. But to get this for $6 and then to have to pay $7 or $8 for something that's this big just doesn't make sense to me at all. But whatever. Anyway, it's kind of dusty. I haven't cleaned it yet. But the baskets are still super sturdy. This is kind of green. So I might paint that black or I might even paint it white. I would probably just have to go really carefully around here and I'd have to use my brush and not a spray can to do this but I think it's absolutely beautiful I think even if I did the baskets maybe stain them a darker color and had the white wire on this I think would look absolutely beautiful so when you're out thrifting don't forget to look past the colors of things and paint is so easy to work with and it's super easy to change and if it doesn't turn out that's okay you can just pick another color and try it again so if this doesn't turn out white the way i like it i'll maybe paint it black or brown or who knows but don't be afraid to find something and change it up because paint is the best way to change things and it's also the easiest way so this is a barrel, <laughs> you can see it's a barrel. And I think it's absolutely cool. It opens up here with the little lid. So I could probably take the lid off and use it as some type of an arrangement, probably change the lid. Why would you want to have a barrel like this that says corks? I guess if you're a cork saver, um, I'm not a cork saver, but I'm a cork buyer because I found this big bag of corks for $2.99 and they're all the same size and shape and they're brand new. So somebody was either trying to make wine and decided to quit because I had seen about four or five different packs like this at the thrift store. I only grabbed the one because I do still have some corks from before, but again, not sure <laughs> if you wanted to be a cork collector I guess that would be the perfect container for you but for me I think I'm going to do something else with it I think it's going to stay this color because I think it's really neat the other thing I was thinking of is I was hoping that you could have it in half because I think the top like this just half of it would make an awesome cloche but I don't think that'll be really easy for me to do. So I probably will just leave it intact and uh, do something else with it. This is the last item that I'm gonna show you today and it's a wood canister set. And I just love it when you buy stuff like this and you don't see the insides of it, but then you open it up and you go, oh, <laughs> there's another little gift in here. So this came with two canisters two wooden boxes. Hey, hey, hey. Trying to get it out. This is the plastic insert. Set that down over there. Ooh, now things are starting to fall apart. I'm going to get rid of that canister because I'm not going to use that for sure. Um, but here I have two sweet little canister sets. Whoops. Let me get it on right. Or not canister sets, canisters. Sorry, bear with me for one second while I can get this going without dropping 
or losing the piece of wood that I got hanging. There we go. I think I got it. Oh, now I lost the lid. There, one. And two. <laughs> I got these for six dollars but they're solid wood and they're beautiful um i think if i had did some type of a label in there because of how they're shaped it could be a storage box you could use it for flour for sugar there this one's kind of big i could see this smaller one being on a counter somewhere because it's you know sort of a medium size but this one's kind of big I think this one would probably look super as a flower arrangement in here, maybe with a spindle to make it a stand-up planter box, something like that. Um, yeah, I'm <laughs> really excited when I find wood pieces like this. Wood is my favorite thing to work with, to build with, to redo, to make something old look new again and so i really get excited when i find wood that's the first place i head to when i get into the thrift stores is the wood aisles i want to see what's there i want to see what they've got if they're worth the money and uh yeah so most of these things i will probably redo and sell on facebook marketplace right now i'm just selling my things locally here in ontario the shipping is really expensive. I would really love to be able to sell my items and ship them to all of you if you would want to purchase them, but the shipping is outrageous. For something like this, I would probably have to pay at least 40 or $50 shipping to get it to you, and I would never expect any customer to pay that amount of money. So that's why I have to just stick to the Facebook Marketplace route for now. Thanks so much for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my thrift haul. I hope you've got your notifications set to all. So when I start redoing all of this stuff, you'll get notified right away. YouTube will let you know, and then you won't miss out on any of my thrift flips. For the month of January, I'm gonna be doing a lot of them because I have a whole bunch of stuff that I've gotta get done and get out of here to make room for new things. I've got something really exciting to share with you all. Some of my subscribers, actually quite a few of you, have wanted to send me things from the Dollar Tree, from Dollar General, but I don't want you to have to spend all of that money on the shipping. I know how much it is to send things to the States or to Canada or wherever. Postage is just outrageous right now. So I have set up what's called a coffee fund where you can go and buy me a coffee. It also helps me to continue bringing you great crafts and new things all the time. So that's just one way that you can support me. If you don't wanna support me that way, don't worry about it, it's totally fine. Just subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, watch my videos. If you can sit through the ads, that would be fantastic as well because that's how I get paid. So that's another way you can support me too. I'm hoping by the time this video airs that I will have hit my 30,000 subscriber milestone. If I haven't yet and you're not subscribed, hit that red button. You know you can do it. It's absolutely free and I truly appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this video was informative. I hope it was fun. I hope you saw a bunch of things that are giving you ideas and inspiring you to go to the thrift store, find something to recreate, or maybe you've even just got something in your home that you'd like to redo. Like I said, paint fixes everything. Grab a paintbrush and slap some paint on something. And if you don't like it, do it again with a different color. Thanks again for watching. See you in the next one. Bye. If you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up and that will let me know that I should post these more often. Here's a couple more hauls you might enjoy.